Hare Krishna. To believe whatever we see is to live like an animal. Some people say seeing is believing. And their emphasis is that why should we believe something which we never see? At one level, it's a common sense. And yes, we should not believe things which, which don't make sense. But at the same time, if we look at wherever we have made advancement in knowledge, it is based on not just seeing, it is based on thinking, based on analyzing, inferring, connecting. Science looks at visible phenomena, but the explanation it gives for them is based on invisible principles. Laws themselves are not visible. Gravity is not visible. Newton saw the falling fruit and inferred the, uh, ex inferred the existence of gravity. So the point is that for advancing in knowledge, we need to look beyond the visible specifics to see the invisible universals. If we look only at the visibles, then we don't learn anything deeper about life. Animals just live, they search for food, sleep, sex, shelter, and def defense, and then they die. They don't grow metaphysically in their life. They don't understand the world better. They don't understand themselves better. They don't understand life's spiritual side at all. So, to believe what we see, uh, if, if an animal sees a mirage and starts chasing after the mirage, then that animal will die. We humans see the mirage, but we evaluate. Does this really make sense? No, this, is not a, this is not water, this is a mirage. And by refusing to believe what we see, we move forward in our life. So we need to, this doesn't mean that we don't, we reject what we see. But we don't restrict ourselves to what we see. We see and then we use our intelligence to evaluate whether what we are seeing is right or not and to also analyze if there is something more to reality beyond what we see. So this way we stay on the progressive path to spiritual knowledge. Krishna says life's spiritual side has to be seen with such a thinking with the thinking faculty, with the eyes of knowledge. He says, Utkramantam sthitam vapi vunjanam va gunanvitam vimodha nanu pashyanti pashyanti jnana chakshushaha At how the soul resides within the body, how the soul departs from the body. All this is not perceived with our gross eyes. It is seen with the eyes of knowledge. That means, we see, we see the body, but we see. Okay. The body was active, it has become inactive. There must be something beyond it which has made the body active. So we don't uh, so we need to uh, don't we need to infer the invisible from the visible. So seeing is believing keeps us in the animal level of reality, but seeing and thinking about what we see and then deciding what to believe, that is the way to enlightenment. That is the way to higher knowledge. That is the way to fulfill the potential of the God-given human intelligence that we have. Thank you. Hare Krishna.